the holder of famine. In any country, go to the closest rural area. Once you stumble upon a farmer, ask him to lead you to the holder of famine. He will get a hungry look in his eye and will lead you to his home. Once inside, he will ask you to stay for dinner. You must respond with, No, thank you. I ate before I left. He'll beg and plead for you to stay, but you must stand firm. He will eventually sigh in submission and lead you to his cornfield. On your way out through the kitchen, you will notice that the cupboards are bare and the children look emaciated. They will cry, beg, and plead for just a crumb of bread, just a spoonful of soup. Do not look them in the eyes, else they'll have full stomachs later. When you reach the edge of the cornfield, the farmer will simply walk in. Do not follow him. Wait until you hear a blood-curdling scream, and then move on. Do not waste the farmer's sacrifice, or your death will be slow and merciless. You will get lost in the cornfield, as there will be no markers of any sort. If you panic, you won't be found. Stay calm and allow yourself to wonder. You will eventually come across a giant circle of dead crops, and it will seem to expand as you stand there. In the center will be a lone oak tree. You will notice it only after you come into the circle of death, which will be odd. The tree will stand over thirty feet tall, and its trunk will be the size of a medium-sized car. There will be roots from the oak everywhere, but do not touch them. They will drag you into the ground and feed upon you. Only when you are able to touch the oak's bark with your bare hands may you relax. Upon reaching out and touching the oak, you will hear a great rustling. It will seem as though the ground is falling apart, the sky falling. Stand as still as physically possible, for you are being tested. If you pass, a lone branch will bend its way around the oak, making designs that seem impossible yet flawless. Do not ask what happens if you fail. The branch will stop four to five feet in front of you, and you will hear a tiny yet commanding voice. It will speak to you of gluttony and obesity, of fat and sloth. It will yell in its paradoxical voice the evils of man, and will fall silent after minutes of disembodied screaming. Once the voice has stopped ranting, ask, Who will die if they are brought together? You will hear the voice again, except louder and much less tiny. The voice will boom how millions upon millions will perish. It will tell you exactly how many will die of every cause, from pure stupidity to mass starvation. It will explain in gruesome detail how your body eats itself when you cannot eat. It will describe how painful and slow your death will be. You will notice that the oak's roots will latch into your skin, slowly seeping out your energy, until you feel as though you are going to die. Before you scream in joyless agony, the roots will retract. Your death is not meant to be on these grounds. The first voice will return. It will explain to you that the object it holds has power beyond recognition. It expresses a severe desire for you to use it correctly. You must agree with all it says, else you will face the roots again. The holder of famine will then reveal itself, and will be but a leaf growing on the oak. The holder will brush an acorn adjacent to it, and the nut will detach from the tree with such force and ferocity that it is comparable to a bomb of sorts. The acorn will land on the ground without a sound. Do not let it delve into the ground, however, as your journey will then be in vain. This acorn contains enough power to fuel the world for all eternity.
that acorn is object 2418 of 2538, and can feed the world over. Leave it growing, however, and it shall feed upon the world.